Be Still, A Treatment Against Fear by Emmett Fox is a spiritual text aimed at imparting wisdom on overcoming fear through faith and a better understanding of God's power. The central theme of the book revolves around the idea that fear is a destructive force that can paralyze individuals, preventing them from living life to the fullest. Fox expresses the belief that fear, regardless of its form or the reasons behind it, can be defeated by deepening one's faith and connection with the divine. The book begins by defining fear as a mental phenomenon, suggesting that fear originates within the mind and thus can be tackled through mental change. Fox emphasizes that fear does not come from God, as God is the source of love and perfection, and in the face of perfect love there is no room for fear. He further explains that the true understanding of God's nature, omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, renders fear powerless. Fox encourages readers to adopt a practice he calls the Golden Key, which involves shifting one's focus away from the source of fear and towards God whenever feelings of fear arise. This practice is not about ignoring the problem causing fear, but recognizing that by concentrating on God and His principles, one can gain the clarity and strength needed to face the situation effectively. Throughout the text, Fox uses biblical references and stories to illustrate how individuals from Scripture have overcome fear through faith. These accounts serve to show that faith in God's power and goodness has a transformative effect on the human spirit. Another significant concept that Fox introduces is the Law of Substitution, which posits that only one thought can occupy the mind at a time. So by consciously choosing a thought based on faith and aligned with God, fear can be displaced. This conscious choice to align thinking with the divine becomes a treatment against fear, a kind of spiritual antidote that heals the mind. The book offers practical advice on how to apply this treatment in everyday life. Fox advises readers to create a routine of prayer and meditation, not as a ritual, but as a way to maintain a constant awareness of God's presence. By doing this, individuals strengthen their spiritual muscle against fear, much like one would train the physical body to become stronger. Fox also tackles the psychological aspect of fear, acknowledging that fear often stems from a lack of security or confidence. He asserts that when individuals learn to find their security in God, rather than in transient material or worldly things, they achieve a sense of peace and stability that is unshakable. Moreover, the author discusses the role of faith in dissolving the worries and anxieties about the past and future. He encourages readers to live in the present moment, entrusting the past to God's mercy and the future to His providence. By focusing on the present and acknowledging that God's love is constant and unchanging, individuals can let go of the fear that is rooted in what has happened or what might happen. The concept of divine order is also explored in the book, where Fox suggests that understanding that all things work under a divine law allows one to trust that ultimately everything is progressing as it should, even if it is not immediately apparent. This perspective helps in relinquishing the need for control, which is often a source of fear, especially when facing uncertainty or change. Be Still, A Treatment Against Fear calls upon readers to cultivate an attitude of surrender to God's will, recognizing that human understanding is limited. By surrendering, individuals open themselves to the guidance and support that they need to navigate through fearful situations. Fox emphasizes the power of affirmations as a tool for combating fear, recommending that readers affirm statements of truth about God and themselves. These affirmations are designed to realign thoughts with spiritual truths, providing a counter-narrative to the fearful thoughts that can dominate the mind. The book also addresses the importance of love and forgiveness in the process of overcoming fear. Fox believes that love expands the heart and casts out fear, while forgiveness releases the negative emotions that fuel fear. He suggests that when individuals practice love and forgiveness, they align themselves with God's nature and thus move away from a fearful mindset. In conclusion, Be Still, A Treatment Against Fear is a spiritual guide that offers a multifaceted approach to defeating fear through faith. Emmett Fox provides readers with practical strategies rooted in Christian doctrine to transform their thinking and embrace the power of God in their lives. By focusing on God's presence, practicing the golden key, applying the law of substitution, 
and engaging in prayer and affirmations, individuals can not only diminish their fears but also grow spiritually, gaining a deeper understanding of God's perfect love and order. Through this understanding and alignment with divine principles, Fox asserts that one can achieve a life free from the paralyzing effects of fear. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.